Hey friends, welcome to Illegal Alien Racing. This is the very first ever club race on Dallas Karting Complex's brand new North Track. This is an eight lap pre-final race. There are 20 of us in this one. I qualified 19th, but they for some reason inverted pole to the outside, so I'm starting dead last. There's a proof right there. It is cold out. It's in the high 30s Fahrenheit, and the track is really slippery. More on that later, and that is Justin in the three car just ahead of me. We're looking for the green flag. Green, I have nowhere to go. We're gonna give Justin a good bump there. The inside opens up, let's go down there. Someone gets turned around and I make up six spots in one corner, so we will take that. Again, really slick out, so I'm looking for people to spin on this first hairpin or maybe go out wide. I definitely go out wide. Right there, I choose to kind of back off and stay in behind 13. If I would have stayed in it, I think uh, he would have come across my nose and I would have turned him around, ruined his race, probably ruined my race. So it's better in that situation, I thought, just to back off and get in line and try to survive. Opening lap, we're all trying to figure out what our cart can do well, how it handles, how fast it accelerates, top speed, all that stuff, the braking. Right there you see someone to my left wants my spot. I'm gonna keep fighting him. He does leave the outside open, or the inside rather. I'm able to maintain 10th. So again, we're trying to figure out what our carts feel like. So this right hander here, I'm kind of a little bit I'll back off a little bit more, open and lap, just because you don't want to go off track trying to push it. You don't know what you've got, so there's no reason to try to push it, because if you're wrong, you're going to pay. Still getting challenged by cart seven on my right. Right there, two carts go out pretty wide and I'm able to get a good bite off that corner, make up some spots. And there is cart seven finally getting around me. Cart seven's a really fast cart, that driver seems to be driving it pretty well. That is Joe just ahead of him. The track's really dark in some spots, so I'm going to try to manipulate the video here by adding some more light, so I apologize if it looks a little weird. 13 does a good job of getting a spot right back. All right, I get a run on 13. I'm hoping that he backs off or I can kill him before this right-hander. I don't want to go two by two in this right-hander. Luckily, we do clear him. This exit to the left right here is really hard to see the, the exit to find the track on the left. So it's hard to go fast through there because sometimes you, you have more track you could have used but you don't want to push it too much and go off track. Right there, going out pretty wide again. It's pretty slippery. We're all struggling with our carts. See Joe there? Left side tires go off track. He slides up, I'm able to get the spot from him. So to give you an idea of how, well, kind of what the track feels like, if you've driven a rain race on slicks, you know like there's absolutely no grip, it's like ice. Well, it's not that bad, but the track does feel like it's, like it's really damp on slicks. Like you're, you're constantly struggling with the cart having to manipulate it around the turns with the brake and with the throttle a little bit too. You can't just just make your turn, you know, you have to try to get the cart to kind of rotate a little bit and the back end to come around on you. So it's definitely really tricky, which I did enjoy because in the past races, as if you've been following this channel, you know that on the old track, if you've got a really fast rental cart, you're gonna work your way to the front. So everybody has a track memorized and it's pretty good at it, right? They almost go off track. Has the track memorized. 
in this race, what I like about this race is that I think driver skill comes into um, play a little bit more. Like you can have just an okay cart and do well because you know how to drive the cart or you're just you know adapting better to the track. This this turn here, turn three, this is really slick, just in general. Right there, I struggle there. I don't get it right. Joe looks to the inside, but I'm able to hopefully clear him. I don't want to go side by side here. It's going to slow us down. We're able to clear him. So I mentioned survive the opening lap. A race like this too is about survival. Everybody's sliding around. If you spin, you're gonna really hurt yourself. If you obviously get in a wreck, you're gonna hurt yourself. So prior to this race, it rained all day long. And the track's dry for the most part, but they told us if you go off track and you get stuck, we're not coming to get you, your, track, your, your race is done. And right here on the left, you can see right, there's a little bit of water, but it's not a big deal because it's not a fast corner as far as a sharp corner, rather. But turn one coming up on the right, I was a little bit more careful through here because in practice, people were kind of running, we're taking it, we're kind of cutting the corner and bringing water onto the track and then people behind them would be committed to turn one. Next thing you know, the track is wet you have no grip and you go right off track. So you don't know if the, the, the track's wet until you're right up on it and you're committed. So it's too late by that time, if, you know. If you see that happen, you're going for a ride. So I was really careful through that first uh, corner for that reason. See how much understeer we both have. We, I think everybody just slid up the track in that spot. So constant adjustments as far as how to drive your cart trying new things. So really busy, trying to work hard. You can hear the carts struggling to get up to speed on these tight corners. And, and we're also heavier too. Right there, I go to the inside, which is gonna to turn to the outside. I don't think that I can make this move, but I'm actually surprised that I was able to make this move. He does a good job though coming out of that corner and look to the left. He's right there. I don't want to go two by two, but I guess we're going. So I give him plenty of room to the outside and he gives me enough room to the inside. So it is possible to race hard in rental cart racing and not touch carts or run into each other and run each other off track. Now you saw the person waving the caution flag. That is a local caution. You're not allowed to pass in those areas until you clear the incident. And you saw him go around me in a caution zone and I think he may have just backed off and given me that spot back to avoid a potential penalty. But it didn't matter, you saw right there, he gets his spot right back. So 13 is doing some really good driving here. Definitely struggling with him. All right, here's some funny audio coming up from me and Justin talking on the radio. And right there, I've got nowhere to go, give him a big bump, and uh, he kind of pulls away from me. All right, here's some in cart audio from me and Justin. Check this out. Dude, look at this guy by Lake DKC, that right hander. He's miserable, dude. Oh, he is? <laughs> He's miserable. That poor guy, he had to stand out there in the cold weather. We had a strong wind coming from the north, which is the direction we're facing right there. It was really cold. And for some reason, it just feels colder in the country than it does in the city. I've noticed, like, I'll leave home, and I'm like, hey, it's not, it's not really cold. Not, it's not terrible. And then I get out to DKC, and it's like, man, it's really cold out here. So there's a little bit of a difference. But that was kind of funny. I just noticed that guy standing by that pole kind of funny all right so 13 seemed to struggle in turn three right there so I may I'm making a mental mental note of that so here I'm just gonna hang out behind him he goes a little defensive just wait for an opportunity something to open up him to make a mistake 
I want to put a lot of pressure on him to try to force him to make a mistake. So right here, I'll probably have to just settle in. Nothing's probably going to happen. I want to stay close enough to him, though, that I can be close enough to pass him if he does go wide in one of the upcoming corners after the start-finish line. It's a really fun race to be a part of. We're really working hard here, all of us. Last lap, I've got one more lap to try to get this spot back. Not right, too far away for anything here. Let's see how he exits turn two. Do a little better there. Make up a little little time, but not too much. He does pretty well there. Now, remember, he struggles through here. Let's see if he struggles this time or if he gets it right. He's a little wide. Able to get a good bite right there. He knows it, too. I think he kind of shakes his head. I'm right on him. It's not there. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to back off just a little bit. Set myself up for a better exit and make a run on him in this hairpin. That's what I want to do. And right here, I'm going for it. I'm already committed. Look to the inside. Slow down, keep it tight to the bottom, not run up the track and run into him. Want to race him clean. I go defensive just a little bit there. Trying to nail these last corners. And I think I've got eighth place locked up. So that was a fun last lap, able to get that last spot. But he did a really good job um, of racing. Just made one little error there that cost him. But overall, I thought I did really well. Really, really uh, tough competitor. Got his spots back for me several times. So if we had more time, he probably would come back in, get his spot back. All right, so that was the race. I hope you enjoyed it. It was definitely a lot of fun racing in it. Slick conditions, so something new that a lot of us haven't got to uh, experience with each other racing. But Glad you were along for the ride. Leave me a comment below if you have any comments or questions. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Y'all take it easy.